Welcome to Professional Certifications Channel. In today's tutorial, we'll explore Chapter 10 of ICD-10-CM, which focuses on diseases of the respiratory system, with codes ranging from J00 to J99. This chapter includes common and critical conditions like asthma, pneumonia, COPD, and respiratory failure making it a key chapter for coders in pulmonology, emergency medicine, pediatrics, and general practice. Let's get started. Section 1, Chapter Overview Chapter 10 covers conditions affecting the upper and lower respiratory tracts. It includes Acute infections like bronchitis, pneumonia Chronic lung diseases like asthma and COPD Lung complications like respiratory failure and pleural effusion Influenza and COVID-related conditions Coding accurately in this chapter requires attention to infection type, causative agent, and chronicity or severity. Section 2. Key Code Categories Let's look at the major code sections in Chapter 10. J00 to J06, Acute Upper Respiratory Infections Includes common cold, J00, pharyngitis, J02, tonsillitis, J03. Example J06.9, Acute Upper Respiratory Infection, Unspecified. J09 to J18, Influenza and Pneumonia. J09, Influenza due to identified influenza virus. J10, J11, Influenza with or without pneumonia. J12, J18, Pneumonia due to various organisms. Example, J18.9, Pneumonia, Unspecified Organism. J20 to J22, other acute lower respiratory infections. Acute bronchitis, J20, bronchiolitis, J21, and unspecified lower infections, J22. J30 to J39, other diseases of upper respiratory tract. Allergic rhinitis, J30, chronic sinusitis, J32, chronic tonsillitis, J35. J40 to J47, Chronic Lower Respiratory Diseases J44, Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease, COPD J45, Asthma, Mild, Moderate, Severe Example, J45.40, Moderate Persistent Asthma, Uncomplicated J60 to J70, Lung Diseases Due to External Agents Includes pneumoconiosis, hypersensitivity pneumonitis, chemical exposure J80 to J84, Other Interstitial and Alveolar Conditions Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome, J80, Pulmonary Fibrosis, J84.10 J90 to J94, Other Diseases of the Pleura Includes Pleural Effusion, J90, and Pneumothorax J96 to J99, Respiratory Failure and Other Conditions J96 for acute and chronic respiratory failure. Example, J96.00, acute respiratory failure, unspecified whether with hypoxia or hypercapnia. Section 3, Coding Tips and Guidelines. Here are some key tips when coding from Chapter 10. 1. Always identify the organism for infections like pneumonia and bronchitis. If known this ensures accurate classification, e.g., bacterial versus viral. 2. For COPD with complications like acute exacerbation or lower respiratory infection use. J44.0 with infection. J44.1 with exacerbation. And combine with infection code, e.g., J20.9. 3. Asthma coding requires. Severity, mild, moderate, severe. Status, intermittent, persistent. Presence of exacerbation or status asthmaticus. 4. For respiratory failure, specify. Acute, chronic, or acute on chronic. With or without hypoxia or hypercapnia. 5. If the condition is related to COVID-19, Remember to link with U07.1 and use the appropriate respiratory manifestation code.
Section 4, Real-Life Coding Examples Let's look at a few real-world case examples. Example 1. A child presents with acute bronchitis caused by RSV. Code, J20.5. Example 2. A 65-year-old patient with COPD and an acute lower respiratory infection. Codes, J44.0, J22. Example 3. Patient with moderate persistent asthma with exacerbation. Code, J45.41. Example 4. Acute respiratory failure with hypoxia. Code, J96.01. Example 5. COVID-19 pneumonia. Codes, U07.1, J12.82. Section 5, Common Diagnoses from Chapter 10. Here are some of the most commonly used codes from Chapter 10. J06.9, Acute Upper Respiratory Infection, Unspecified. J18.9, Pneumonia, Unspecified Organism. J44.1, COPD with exacerbation. J45.40, moderate persistent asthma, uncomplicated. J96.00, acute respiratory failure, unspecified. J30.9, allergic rhinitis, unspecified. J84.10, pulmonary fibrosis, unspecified. And that wraps up our tutorial on Chapter 10, Diseases of the Respiratory System in ICD-10-CM. Whether it's coding a common cold or a complex case of COPD with exacerbation, this chapter plays a major role in day-to-day -day coding work. Let us know in the comments which respiratory condition you code the most. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for our next video Chapter 11, Diseases of the Digestive System, K00 to K95. See you there.